Earlier this year, I found my way to Bath, the great outdoors. I flew into Calgary International Airport, and away I went. I hopped on a bus, and it was quite a scenic drive. Then all of a sudden, you see a wall of mountains. And that's when you know you're about to enter the Rockies. Once you get to Banff, there are buses that get you everywhere from the town itself. There are three things you'll definitely want to see. First, Lake Louise, the most famous of the three, which attracts the most visitors and the most tourists. My favorite, Moraine Lake. The water's super clear, and you get it really up close and personal there. And lastly, Sulphur Mountain, where you're on top of the world. You overlook the town, and you see so far away. It's definitely the feeling that you want to have in Banff. Before I started on these three though, I first visited Lake Minnewanka, a quiet and subdued lake close to the town of Banff. Without much people or visitors, you're really taking it all in. The sights, the sounds, being close to nature, definitely not a bad way to start the trip. The very next day, I went straight to Lake Louise. When you get here, you're immediately greeted with a view like no other. With mountains on the horizon as far as you can see, the water, a turquoise color I've never seen before. All of this makes Lake Louise a place you have to visit. If you're in for a hike, there's a trail that visits two smaller lakes a little bit further away. Let me show you what's at the end of the hike. Before I got there though, maybe a quarter of the way through, I started getting really tired. On paper the trail was only 7.4 kilometers or 4.6 miles, but I'm not used to elevation gains, not like this. So this hike really took the wind out of me. Would not recommend if you don't enjoy hiking or torturing yourself. As I kept going, and probably another half hour, at least if not an hour, we are at Mirror Lake. Mirror Lake. Mirror Lake is a small reward that encourages you to keep going. Ultimately, you're going to have to climb all the way to the base of the mountain that you see here. So drink some water and get ready. Fortunately, someone was nice enough to share a preview of the prize. Give you a sense on whether or not you think it's worth it. Okay. So you will be rewarded. All right. You will be rewarded, I promise. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Good luck. So eventually through the hike, we do reach something well worth it. At Lake Agnes. You're finally at the base of the mountain we saw earlier. Here, there's space for you to take a break and a breather before you head on the return hike back. Pretty good view, pretty far. There's a tea house here, and the view is pretty nice. You see people enjoying themselves, taking some good pictures. Then I went to visit Moraine Lake. This was easily the part I was most excited about. When you get a little bit closer, you end up seeing a rock pile. And that's what you want to climb.
And I can tell you, from there, this is easily the best view in Banff. In good weather, which I was fortunate enough, this is the most blue water I've ever seen in my life. You can walk all along the water here. You can get up close and personal with the lake. Definitely, definitely my favorite part. Johnston Canyon. Okay, Lower Falls 1.1, 30 minutes. Upper Falls, one hour. And then back and forth so far. All right, let's go. As you go in, you're surrounded by a wall of rock to your left and to your right. There was a Lower Falls, which a lot of people lined up to Get a closer look up. You can get even closer to the lower falls by climbing through the rocks. And there's a small look out here that you oversee. After a bit of a hike, you do reach the upper falls. But today, this area is closed. So we're going to have to skip this part. Lastly, Sulphur Mountain. On the cable car up, you get about five minutes to yourself. You're hanging in midair with the mountains around you and forests below. Started as a whisper, message from a new top of the world and you wonder hey when I get back to my normal life will I get to be at the top of the world again I think that's a good way of ending the trip <laughs>